What's going on guys, it's new 603 and today I'm going to bring you the start of what could be a new weekly series that I want to do. Um, might not be a weekly series, I just don't know, it has potential, but we'll just see how it goes. I want to talk about branching out and trying different guns you normally wouldn't use and getting you to step out of your comfort zone, try something you may have hated in the past to see if your impression of it has changed. Now since I'm new to PC and specifically Battlefield 3 on PC, I don't have that many guns unlocked. Now because of this, I'm forcing myself to use some guns that I haven't touched since the first time I unlocked them. You know, specifically back on PS3, some of those are early unlock weapons. So I'm not just using the M416 or the G36C. Now at first I thought, shit this is going to be frustrating because I'm using guns I normally wouldn't use. I'm not familiar with them. I don't remember how well they work. I don't know anything about them. It's all new to me, so to speak, because it's been so long that they're just, again, they're not familiar to me. Surprisingly, I've actually been having a great time using some of these guns that I rarely use or haven't used in a long time, like in over a year in some cases. So which brings me to the gun of this week's topic, the UMP45. I haven't used this gun in ages, but while trying to get better at being a PC gamer, I thought, ah, what the shit, I'll try out a slower fire rate gun because I did notice that I was having trouble controlling the recoil on a bunch of different guns. So I wanted to use something that was slow and steady, uh, or a slow and steady type of weapon, where it's easy to fire but still dealt out pretty good damage, and that led me to the UMP45. The last time I truly used this gun was for a weapon review. That was almost a year ago now, and in fact, we did that review on April 28th of 2012. So I am 11 months removed from the last time I put any significant time into this gun, until I picked it up again about two weeks ago. Now what did I find for venturing out of my comfort zone? I found what could be one of my new favorite go-to guns. I know some of you are going to cry OP, and I'm going to stop you right there. Yes, this gun is a beast as far as its close range damage rating goes, but it fires really slow and it has a smaller than average magazine capacity, and if your aim sucks or you incorrectly anticipate the movement of your intended target, you're going to waste your small amount of ammo that's available to you. Not only that, yes, while it is an ideal close quarters gun, that doesn't mean that it's the best close quarters gun, or even an overpowered gun. Guns like the AEK, the MP7, the M5K, or any shotgun for that matter are going to outshoot the shit out of this gun. So it's enough argument right there to squash the old overpowered crap. So with that out of the way, you're probably wondering what specifically do I enjoy about the UMP45 now, when I haven't used it in so long, and I was so-so about it in the past. Well, given that I'm still getting used to playing on PC, I'm still not that great at controlling recoil. So, using some of my favorite guns from before on PS3 have been pretty hard for me to use on PC. Using the UMP45 because of its low fire rate, I can let this thing rip full auto and it's very, very easy for me to control. So with that slow rate of fire and the low recoil, I'll be able to let the gun rip in full auto and actually have a higher accuracy with it than most of my other guns that I'm more familiar with. Is it the best gun out there? Nope. It's purely situational. I really find it's best suited you know, to certain maps because on some maps, just the way they're laid out, you can't force the close quarters engagements. It's not terrible at long range, but it's not good either. So if I get on any map that doesn't have most of the fighting in the close to mid range, I won't bother pulling it out. But right now, I've just been really enjoying TDM on Battlefield 3. I just want to get a lot of close quarters engagements, and often, I want a lot of them in a short period of time. Because I know that the more exposure I get to that, the more of those gun-on-gun -gun firefights, the faster I'm going to learn how to be a better PC gamer. So that's why I'm focused mainly on TDM. The UMP45 works well for TDM, since the maps are smaller and the gunfights are happening so quickly. So I need a gun that I can easily control. So this is a short video, I just wanted to cover a couple things, but to recap, what is the main point of this video? Try branching out. I know at this point in the game, people are just sticking to what they know and plodding along doing the same damn thing day in and day out, trying to pass the time until Battlefield 4 or something else that comes by in between today and Battlefield 4's release. So you're locked into your comfort zone. And not everyone, but I think most of you are. So I guess I'm kind of putting a challenge to you, if you will. Try changing things up. Try a different gun or a different set of attachments. Step outside of your comfort zone and try using a gun that you haven't ever used or one you haven't used in a long time. Now I know it's going to be a challenge for probably a fair amount of you because a lot of you guys actually do give other guns in this game a chance. You've tried everything you put in a significant amount of time. But maybe there's one gun that you just haven't used in a really long time and maybe it's been patched at least once. So you'd be surprised what it's like. you got to go back to it. I know there's a handful of guns that I have not used in a long time. Most, there's one gun in particular that I think I'm going to cover next episode because, well, the, the review was the last time I played it and I, <laughs> I hate it in the review. So, my main point, step out of your comfort zone, try using a gun you haven't used, either ever or in a really long time. You could either rage quit and absolutely hate it, or you could be pleasantly surprised like I was, and you won't know until you try it. 
that's gonna wrap it up guys I would love to hear if any one of you have actually gone through this yourselves recently Leave a comment let me know what gun you may have stumbled upon that you just haven't used in a while or have never used and you were like holy shit This gun's awesome. Where the hell has this been all my life? Because I'd love to know if this is just me that this is happening to or for everyone else or you know other people are experiencing the same awesomeness of finding these new you know quote unquote new guns to themselves as well thanks guys I appreciate it leave a like if you could share the video I'd greatly appreciate it if you enjoyed it if not don't worry I won't be offended I'll catch you guys next time